Welcome back to Open, everyone. It's now time for this week's Open Artist Spotlight. The Open Artist Spotlight is made possible in part with public funds from the Bronx Council on the Arts through the New York State Council on the Arts Decentralization Program. Today's spotlight shines on four dancers who will be performing at uh, Wise Fruit 3.0, an event that showcases talented artists. And uh, once again, all proceeds go to supporting Planned Parenthood. Please welcome to the Open Artist Stage, Queen Maria, Lori, and Candace. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. When I was a child, I asked myself, I asked God, why was I born during this time? This time, right before the internet rose to power and after the civil rights movement was strategically dismantled. Why wasn't I born to see the summer of love or to occupy Alcatraz in the name of all American Indians? Why wasn't I pumping my fist at the front lines of the Black Panther movement? Maybe I could have been next to Asada Shakura in jail, or even earlier been collecting signatures against slavery and voting discrimination with Susan B. Anthony. Or even earlier than that, I could have been cast aside as a sexual deviant by the European monarchy like Marie Antoinette. Why instead do I find myself shaking my ass to a rapper that claims to be a man but calls himself juvenile. Girl, you look good, won't you? Back yo up. Hello. Why was I born in this time, God? And I know God is a loaded term, so whatever you want to call how life and death works, God, Allah, Elohim, Jehovah, Deus, Krishna, Panchamama, the universe, energy, ether, or chance. I'm still with you and we are still in this together. Hello. And I have since realized my naivety. I've realized that these women throughout history, these movements that they inspired are not separate from us. We are a culmination of their perseverance. We are able to speak up about the atrocities of this world because of them. The rich corporations fueled by greed, the colonization, deportation, exploitation, and just plain genocide of the poorer classes, the black and brown races, the land, Mother Earth. Hello, women. If the soul of the nation is to be saved, I believe that you must become its soul. Coretta Scott King. I declare to you that women must not depend upon the protection of man, but must be taught to protect herself. And there I take my stand. Susan B. Anthony. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. Maya Angelou. If one man can destroy everything, why can't one girl change it? Malala. And that one girl, Harriet Tubman, said, there was one of two things I had a right to, liberty or death. If I could not have one, I would have the other. And Brenda Guha said, you are the one fruit in the basket that has the most knowledge. And I agree, don't you? We are all one fruit in a basket that has her own knowledge. For we are all an expert at something. We all hold our power delicately from within. You are all wise fruit in your own right, women. Now plant the seed in the soil that supports us all. When I say wise fruit, you say plant the seed, wise fruit, wise fruit, wise fruit. Plant the seed, plant the seed, plant the seed, wise fruit. Hello. Oh. oh my goodness, I don't know whether to applaud. Bravo, ladies. Bravo, thank you. Thank you. So here's the microphone. Introduce yourself really quickly. Hi, my name is Quinn Carpenter. Hi, I'm Candace Tabs. Hi, I'm Lorena Cobos. Hi, I'm Maria Scherniski. 
And uh, you ladies are the freestyle dancers that uh, Brenda was referring to. Yes. That was so stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay, so who came up with the narrative? Lauren Cox. Lauren Cox. Lauren Cox. Yeah. And uh, who came up with the choreography? We, we self-choreographed. Yes. And right. uh, Brenda also gave us direction for uh, coming together and bringing the, the through line for the piece. Nice. So what do you hope people leave with? I hope that they leave inspired and just excited about how they can make a change in the world. And you? Yes, I hope uh, their minds are opened even wider and they have this vast realization that art is activism. We could all do it. You don't have to be an artist. We yeah. can all work together. I love that. And you? And um, leaving with the sense of, of community, knowing that we don't have to think about this and fester with it by ourselves, but we have people who can who can share with us. Uh, really quickly, because we gotta go. Yeah, sure. Um, a lot of people put their thoughts on social media in a negative way, and I think dance is just a really cool way to break that up and still get the message across. Absolutely, because we're planting seeds for Wise Fruits. Woo! Go Brenda! Once again, you guys, remember, Wise Fruit 3.0 is happening on Monday, October 16th at 7.30 p.m. at uh, Hudson Terrace in uh, Manhattan. And for more information, visit wisefruitnyc.com.